Hey everybody, what's up? It's your boy Will, and um, this is going to be a real short video because I've been watching the news today, and when I got home from running some errands, I was just watching the news, I was watching the news this morning, and I was like, wow, that's a lot of talk about Joe the Plumber, and of course, there's a lot of talk about Joe the Plumber, because he was the focal point of pretty much most of the debate, but what shocked me was how much venom was out there for Joe the Plumber. Why was the press attacking Joe the Plumber? Why was there a lady on um, Fox News and Friends who was so angry who represented the Obama campaign who attacked Joe the Plumber? And then you had David Gregory and Joe Biden attacking Joe the Plumber. You had Campbell Brown and the CNN world's greatest political team attacking Joe the Plumber. MSNBC, Joe Scarborough, Morning Joe attacking Joe the Plumber. Why is everyone so upset about this guy? Don't they know that all he did was ask a question and then I'm reading comments on the internet that he's some kind of com some kind of uh, plant from the McCain campaign that he really doesn't make $250,000? Well, duh. He doesn't make $250,000. That's what he was asking the question about. He was saying, if I bought my, my, if I bought a business that could get me to the $250,000 range, you are going to tax me. And that's what Obama said, no, I'm just going to raise it 3%, like 3% of small potatoes, from 36 to 39%. And then he says, I'm going to spread the wealth around. And that is socialist. That's what socialists do. That's what communists do. Everybody's equal. Spirit the wealth. No matter how hard you work, you get the same reward. That's why communism failed. That's why it was not productive. So he was right. Spread the wealth equals socialism equals communism. It's, it's just the truth. So why are the press so hard on Joe the Plumber? Because Joe the Plumber is a regular guy who asked a regular guy's question and got Obama into some dire straits. He, he put Obama on the spot. Obama made a gaffe and the press is just trying to cover it up. So instead of concentrating and doing the people's business and informing people about Obama's plans, what they decided to do was go after the guy. He's from around my hometown. I know those people. And the people around my hometown are hard-working, blue-collar people. And believe you me, attacking somebody like Joe is not helpful to the Obama campaign by any stretch of the imagination. So they might want to have to, excuse me, tone that down. Believe me, you don't want to mess with those type of people. These people are hard-working. They want to keep their money. They don't want to give it to somebody else. It's a very... Very, very, uh, you know, folksy Midwestern town. It's just like sort of like a little small town out of sight from where I'm from. And it's crazy that people in the press would think it would be to their advantage for their candidate to attack this guy for asking a question. That's like when John Murtha just said that everybody in Western Pennsylvania, which is near me as well, is a bunch of racists. What planet are these people on Obama's campaign from? I mean, they're so arrogant right now and so sure they're going to win that they're just saying anything and everything. And, oh, by the way, there was another thing that came out today that has been reported, not on MSNBC, or, of, of course, but it has been reported that the kill him thing that was so prevalent, somebody said, kill him? At the so-called the, the so guy who said kill him at the Sarah Palin uh, rally and uh, campaign event, never happened. They interviewed over a hundred people, and these were mostly Secret Service and law enforcement people who worked that rally, and they said no one, no one heard it but that guy who reported it in the Scranton News. The only guy, but he reported it. Talk about plants. Talk about Obama plant, Obama, Obama plant story. Hmm, kind of make you want to scratch your head, huh? So I think what we're starting to see here is that any opposition to Obama is going, you're a racist. If you don't agree with the Messiah, the divine one, you're a racist. No matter what he says, no matter what he does, the press is going to print you as a racist. If you ask him a tough question, the press will crucify you. 
Joel Plummer never said anything about him making 250000 He said it was the possibility of making 250000 And he wanted to know, why are you going to tax me? It's a legitimate question. So to all you Obama worshipers out there, keep up the attacks on Joel the Plumber. Every time you dog him, you make a video about him, every time you dog Middle America, Midwest values, that's another vote for McCain. So keep it up. I appreciate your help. And my name is Will, and I approve this message.